Hi, President Trump. My name is Scott Garibay. I'm an American citizen, and I have a request for you. Um, my request is please, President Donald Trump, uh, select Vivek Ramaswamy as your vice presidential candidate. Um, now, I know that uh, you have a lot to think about currently, and I also understand that legitimately you would care what, how would this benefit you, right? So I would love to tell you that you need to choose Vivek Ramaswamy in order to win this upcoming election. Uh, but I'm an honest man, and, uh, and I want to be uh, fully transparent with you. And I don't think that's the case. I think the reality is uh, things have gotten so under President Biden, we have massive poverty, massive war, and massive lawlessness. And um, those all come directly from Biden's uh, inability to be a good president. And I think it's going to be a layup for... Uh, for you to win with any vice presidential candidate you choose. Uh, I think you could win with the possum who lives under my porch if you chose him. <laughs> uh, actually, people love hot possums, I think. So, uh, and so the reality is you don't need to choose Vivek Ramaswamy to win this election. Um, that's not what you would gain from cho choosing Vivek Ramaswamy as your vice presidential candidate. So what would you gain? Well. Um, I know a lot about you because I've, I've studied you over the years and my read on where you are right now is that you have achieved um, success as a person massively. You're, you, the Trump name is known all over the world and uh, you've been successful. Okay. In addition to that, you are now powerful. You're, you've been the United States president. Uh, U.S. president is a title that remains on you when you're active president, when you're inactive president, even when you're dead. You're always going to be President Donald Trump. And that title infers power every minute of the day. Um, it simply does. So you are successful and you're powerful. What you don't have that I think Vivek Ramaswamy can give you is you don't have a legacy. And what I mean by that is I think when... Um, you know, when you are no longer the active president and uh, when you pass beyond the mortal coil, um, there's going to be this question of how are you remembered, right? And I think right now there will be an account of your time as president and people will say, you know, President Trump was president and here's what he did. And there'll be a record of it. There will be an account, but you won't have a legacy, right? You won't have a legacy the likes of George Washington or Abraham Lincoln. Okay, they have legacy. Right, the people look back and they look fondly upon them. Right, and I don't think you've achieved that yet. I think you've achieved massive success. I think you've achieved power, but I don't think you've achieved a sound, beneficial legacy. Right, and Vivek Ramaswamy can do that for you. And the reason why is, if you choose Vivek Ramaswamy as your vice president. I think it's a lock that he, I think it's a lock that you're going to beat Biden. You're very fortunate for that. Congratulations. I think, I don't think it's going to be difficult, right? Um, and, and, and I, I think it's going to be exactly like Hillary Clinton. Um, I'm actually on record on uh, Slate Political Gab Fest. I asked a year and a half before you beat her. I said, I think Trump's going to beat her easily. And you did. You, you actually, you know, virtually destroyed her in that election. And I think it's the same here. I don't think you, you don't really, you don't need to do anything. But President Joseph Biden is beating himself at this point, right? You don't need to do anything to beat him. But if you choose Vivek Ramaswamy, you're going to get a couple things. You're going to get legacy. And the reason why is you will have done something that no other Republican president has ever done. And that is um, ensure that we have the first Republican person of color president, right? And right now, the Republicans are uh, behind, you know, Republicans care about merit. They care about what you do, not what you say, right? And right now, when it comes to uh, inclusivity, kindness, and tolerance, the Republicans haven't proven anything. They've all, they have not, they have no diversity in the presidents that they've chosen. But if you choose Vivek Ramaswamy, he will become the first person of color Republican president. You know, if you choose him as your vice president, I think that guarantees he will be uh, the next president and you will be responsible for making sure that the Republicans have the first person of color president. 
that is that will be very surprising right it will it will change there being an account of your presidency all the way to there being a um your presidency being a legacy i think it will really change things dramatically and it will give you the legacy you currently don't have it will also delight people it will surprise people and it will delight people and few things you've done have surprised and delighted people. Many things you've done have surprised people, but few have surprised and delighted you. Choosing Vivek Ramaswamy will ensure that you have a legacy um, and that you will be spoken of uh, with some regard and people will be, hey, he did this thing that no one else could do and he really changed the Republican Party forever in a wonderful way. So this is a huge opportunity for you to get something you currently don't have. I understand you have massive success. I understand you have massive power. At this point, I don't think you have a legacy. And choosing Vivek Ramaswamy will give you that last third piece you don't have. You'll have the whole pie then. I really think this is to your benefit. I think this is the best move for you at this moment. And I think, and, and I think you'll be shocked at how many dividends culturally, societally will be returned to you from making this decision. President Donald Trump, my name is Scott Garibay. I'm an American citizen, and I'm formally requesting that you choose Vivek Ramaswamy as your vice president. Uh, thank you. Please consider this.